Hey guys, so I am back from Pilates. Guys, let me tell y'all, I don't even think, let me start this over. Welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged in a while, guys, but let me tell you, I have been going to Pilates for the last, I want to say, maybe it's been two full months, maybe two and a half, and let me just cap a seat. And let me tell you guys, your girl has been like going through the motions. So it's Club Pilates and it's they're everywhere pretty much. They opened up a new location where I live. So I was like, okay, let me just join. All of the good girlies were during that, I guess, pre-opening. Maybe up until like recently they, they got, I'm not going to say got rid of, but they moved a lot of stuff around. And there's certain girls that I absolutely, they're hard, <laughs> but I, I like them because they push me. And then there's others who are just like soft. And then there was one who, she just had like a lot of knowledge on muscles and certain things that we were working, um, medically, medical term wise. I used to go to one girl. She, she was cool for the beginning, but she's kind of soft. And I feel like the class that I go to with her, because now she's on the my schedule i may have to switch my schedule again just so i can get like another person but i noticed that it's nothing wrong with her i just feel like i work a little bit harder with the other girl um so this particular of uh, this other girl that i go to on saturdays she's during the week so i'm trying to figure out how i can squeeze her in at minimum at least once a week during the week like early in the morning because she's so good uh, she's hard <laughs> but she's really really good but they ended up switching some stuff around which I did not like because all the people who signed up for like a membership kind of now have to like get used to new girls and there's nothing wrong with that but I think a lot of them are new to Pilates possibly just finishing their courses and stuff like that mm, but let me tell you my girl on Saturday so last Saturday, I'm going to tell you guys this. Let me say, <laughs> last Saturday, I have like, let me turn my lights down. So last Saturday, we were um, doing like a, a sculpting class. And I'm just going to sit my camera. Let me sit back down. <laughs> So last Saturday we did like a sculpt a sculpting class, which is like a jump board class. And um not last Saturday, I actually skipped last Saturday. But the Saturday before when I oh I skipped last Saturday because the Saturday before she I was so tired. Like I got home and literally couldn't do a thing. Like worn out. I hate cardio. <laughs> but I know I need to do it so today was a lot better because I kind of like mentally prepared myself because I did not expect it to be like that with her I did take another jump board class sculpting class with another lady she was good too but I didn't feel like the way I felt with this one like I was sweating so much but it's worth it it is I had like a trial not a trial like a um um, I got like a Thanksgiving packet, whatever that was, right? So I pay like $159 a month, but I, it may go up, I think. So this is unlimited classes. I only go three times a week, which I probably should be doing more because I think the other packet, you only get two classes a week. So that's kind of, but then also too, the good thing about having unlimited is that you're able to book out in advance, like a lot of days. A lot of the other girls, they can't do it. So that's the benefit of it. It is more money. <sighs> but if you are thinking about joining Pilates, baby, do it. Okay. I used to do floor Pilates for a really long time. And I like it because I feel like I have more control. Sometimes the reformer is kind of like annoying for me. But I do prefer the floor Pilates. <laughs> but let me tell you if you can get like a class pass or something and get into one of these one of these classes like at, at, at minimum like a jump board sculpting class whoo 
you're gonna be like what the freak like it's a different type of cardio but it's definitely worth it so i did end up going to sephora you guys know we love a sephora let me sit you guys over here <laughs> So I think it's some stuff from Sephora. Guys, I need some more gym clothes. If y'all know of any good gym clothes, I don't even, honestly, one thing about me, I really don't care about how I look at the damn workout place. I just be trying to get in and get out. That's it. Like, I don't care what you got on the how cute you look. I just want to get in and get out. But I went to Sephora and got some more all-nighter spray. Now, I was going to try the other one by... What is it, Patrick Star? The I think it's called SO or I don't know, it's something like that. In the in the red, not red, gray and red bottle. But I noticed that it was like a spray, not a spray nozzle like this one. Um, but I did hear the other one's good. Maybe I'll just use this out and then try that one. And then I went to get some Tatcha um dewy skin cream now i had a sample of this some months ago and it was like a nice little sample and this thing was like so bomb it ain't cheap one thing about skincare and stuff i never used to put a lot of stuff on my face you guys know i'm a vaseline girl but vaseline is not a moisturizer so i am noticing like moisture like when i don't have anything on my face i'm noticing that it looks different and it feels different you don't necessarily have to buy something as expensive as this. Um, but I wanted to try it out because I had that sample. So, beautiful face, beautiful feet. What is it? Futures. Maybe they meant to put features. <laughs> it says, beaut. I can't even see. Let me, I can I show y'all? I don't know if I can see that. I don't know if I can see that. This thing say, beautiful faces, oh well, maybe. I thought it said face. Beautiful faces, beautiful futures. That's too, <laughs> beautiful futures. Your purchases, support, education. Okay, 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 it makes sense. <laughs> um, all right, so let me see. Comes with this little thingy right here, which is just, Okay, it says futures, I get it. Cause they're doing like a giving back situation here. Like an education program for girls. Okay, I like that Tatcha. Okay. And then it just comes in this box here. Nothing crazy, it's really bright in here guys. So I don't know. And I got the largest one, which it's a little bit more, but it could be just the damn bottle looking like it's bigger. Because that little sample one was with that other one. <laughs> Let me see. Let me open it up. Oh, it's definitely was giving me more. Maybe, maybe I got gypped. This is the largest one, but I'm noticing that the way the bottle looks, the bottle looks bigger, but that other one that I saw that was a little bit smaller than this one, I don't know. I felt like the illusion of it looking bigger is because of the bottom. Can you guys see that little clear thing? And it may not even be bigger, I don't know. Don't try to play Tatcha, okay? But it does come with a little scoopy thing here. So you don't have to stick your finger in it. Just use like the little thing. Which I like. I don't know. It says made in Japan. Now the first ingredient, I can't even see y'all. I'm so sick. I'm all over. A rich cream of antioxidant packed Japanese purple rice and hyaluronic acid that makes the skin, that feeds the skin Plumping hydration for a dewy, healthy looking glow. Honestly, when I had this this little sample, that's why I was like, I need to buy it. I didn't know it was 89 bucks. But I like it. They are supporting the girlies, and that's probably why it has the flowers and stuff. They're supporting like a, a program for girls. Um 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So this does have what to do, like AM and PM. Well, anyway, I got this. I like this. So now if you're not into like buying like stuff like this and you want to keep like old school, you can. I just so happen to try this and really liked it. A lot of stuff that I do buy, guys, I don't, I don't necessarily like just be trying it out. I already had a sample for it. And I'm a girl who doesn't really like to have a bunch of stuff unless I know it really works. Never been the person to try different products on my skin, but I know, I know certain things as you get older. You want to keep your skin moisturized. The same thing with like body scrubs and stuff like that. Actually, I want a new body scrub because the, the Quay one, it's always like sold out. Uh, but then I also got my, my uh, Clean Skin Club. So this is my, you guys know I purchased this and I get it delivered every 90 days. Some of the girls on TikTok were like, oh, you can just go ahead and get um, one from Amazon. But I paid $25 for two boxes and that's like 90 days. So a little bit over 90 days, but for whatever reason, I had an extra box the last time and I know I was using it. So the next box will, will come in 90 days, which I always get to, but clean skin towelettes guys and that's it so i am going to go get grab me something to eat before i actually shower and stuff i just came from pilates but i need some protein in my body and i have some leftover quinoa from yesterday and like a stir fry i made like a stir fry I'm still breathing hard i made like a nice little stir fry and i'm gonna put like avocado i have a green juice and that will be my lunch, then I'm gonna shower and get ready to go outside. Okay. I'm gonna go to like, I don't know, maybe to, I need some gym clothes like that. I have not purchased any gym clothes from Amazon like the girls do. I just feel like I'm not gonna have any luck because I'm tall, but maybe I should actually go and try to look to see what I find because I am tall and and maybe I'll find something for the girlies who are tall I keep looking up because my lens so let's do that and let's go grab some food to eat before we actually shower and get some recording done today all right guys so I am getting ready to eat my salad I don't even want to show you guys this so <laughs> it's so big don't judge it looks really really big because I have a whole head of like kale in here and then I had some quinoa left and I just kind of sprinkled it on the top like it's huge it's kale um, green peppers red peppers onions um, I put some walnuts in here hemp seeds and then I made a walnut like Brazilian nut dressing um, it's huge <laughs> but I'm watching 13 reasons why well first let me backtrack I watched Kelly Rowland's movie yesterday let me tell you before he even got like I don't even think it was 30 minutes in she was with the guy and um basically like she went, went behind the other girl and had sex with him or did she have sex with the person she kissed him oh no I was just like what the hell Kelly I know it's a movie, but I didn't I didn't think it was all that. It kind of was giving me, I don't know, it just didn't seem cool. And it's crazy because the guy, Travante, I think that's his name, you know, he was in Bird Box. And I think what happens when I see movies that are not like, I don't know, I just it just seemed a little bootleg to me. It did. It seemed a little bootleg. But the actors, I like the actors. She, I think she did pretty good, but I just thought it was kind of corny. And here's my green juice. But I'm watching 13 Reasons Why I never saw this. The girl must have killed herself, and now she has like tapes that, that went out to certain people. Um, I think it's more of like about suicide and just maybe other things that go on in school. 
that some parents just overlook and teachers overlook because uh, no one cares guys they don't care there's like a it's not a ton of them and the ones that do care it's just not enough of them and I'm sure they're like worn out but I'm gonna wash this and eat my food and drink my juice this is watercress not watercress moringa green apple green pear kiwi and ginger and cucumber Let me tell you, the moment you stick a piece of ginger, fresh ginger, in your juice, magnificent. All right, let me watch this show and then show. It's almost one o'clock. I didn't record anything today. Like, I'm still gonna try to get outside. I am. Mm-hmm. I haven't recorded nothing. <laughs> All right watch this and then try to record something today catch y'all later all right guys so i just got up the shower i ate my salad and now i'm just about to get dressed so <laughs> i was on tiktok tiktok is so addictive like literally um but <laughs> when i tell you people are going on and on and on about the tisa risa story <laughs> I went to a it's crazy stuff crazy uh but let me close this out and get ready oh i left my um my tacha let me get my tacha hold on urban spray because my urban one uh, i like to put this little plastic thing on the floor in my room where i do my makeup because i um I still have carpet in here. Mm. But we're gonna open this up. And we are going to take my Tatcha out. Can I tell you, I just put on my perfume. That is the Jo Malone Red Bottle Scarlet Poppy. This thing smells like a million bucks. Like literally. Now let's make sure I have I still have, I had bought a travel size one, but now I got the bigger one, which is this one. Woo, I like this. So right now I just have on my regular moisturizer, but I am gonna throw on, let's put Tatcha over there, not Tatcha, that I'm gonna, th I'm gonna put on some of this dewy, only, try this thing so right. I'm gonna put on some of the dewy, I don't even think I need the the top because I think there's some sitting on the top. I mean the scooper. Yeah, let me scoop some of that out. And put it on my face. And then, not a lot though. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to put, I like this. This is not cheap guys, but I'm going to tell you right now. Um, my mirror's here and I have a mirror there. I absolutely love it. I didn't use a lot. I just used a little bit from the top. Listen, I might change my bathroom center over and get like a little, like a little um, ottoman and sit it there. Just switch some things around in there, all my face products, because my sink is not huge. I do have like, I'm, it's not it's not big around the sink, but I do have a centerpiece. So I'm thinking about putting some of my um, face products there with like the refrigerator and stuff. I don't know, I don't want it to look cluttered. So maybe I'll go on Pinterest and see what some people do. Cause my bathroom is kind of like a spa style. Not spa, I guess, because it's like brown and uh, I'm rubbing up some of the um, that thing on me. Yeah, so I want to change like the middle 
but I just don't want it to look cluttered. I still want it to look really nice and like neat and stuff. Um, I hate clutter. I don't do clutter at all. And I like to be able to see certain parts of like a surface. So I'm letting this kind of sit on my face, my little brother. So let's get ready. I put the tattoo on. I don't know if you guys can see, like I, I really, really like this. When I had the sample, I was just like in awe. And I just never went and got it. But your girl got it now. Yeah. And I got the bigger one, but I don't know if I got gypped. I'm, I'm being honest. Because I see this little clear thing and it's not going all the way down there. Uh, <laughs> and this is supposed to be the, what did I say earlier? The 2.5 um, fluid ounce one. But I like it. All right, so let's get ready to film a video and go meet up with a friend so we can chit chat, catch up. I haven't been like really going anywhere. Well, I guess I could give you guys a quick little, I don't know, I guess a story time. So I usually don't talk about work on here, but when I tell you I have been having the hardest time with a manager. The funny part is, I used to work with her before, and when she got to my team, it was just like something just wasn't wasn't right. And I didn't know. I'm very very intuitive. So when I realized it, I was just like, okay. I still was trying to be nice. Um, I mean, it got to the point where this lady, and I'm gonna say it all. It started from her asking me about, that was my, <laughs> my Laura Mercier, the honey one. Um, it started with her asking me about screen prints. And I was like, screen prints to like the plan that we worked for of like stuff that was like in the system. So I was saying to myself like, they have access to see this. So I didn't know where this was coming from. So I was just like, like lady, what what like what are you doing here? So I was like, is this a problem? I won't send them screen prints. And then when I said to her, she said, Well, I just wanted to know why you send so many. So I said, Well, they send me screen prints, okay? And she goes, Oh, um, well, I was just asking, maybe they I just thought maybe they was asking you to do it. And I'm just like, no, like, like no. Okay, that was the first thing. So let me backtrack. She has a friend that works on the team and she probably see this and I hope she does. <sighs> Fast forward, she's picking, she's picking. Now I have to address it. So I address it with her. I'm looking over here. This is a Revlon pencil. I address it with her and um, it was still like, okay. I was still letting it slide. I let everything, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Child, it got to the point where this lady, like the way she was, it's almost like she don't even know how to be normal with me. And I'm like, whatever you got going on, it don't have nothing to do with me. But she started picking on me about idle time. Idle time. I am a team lead and I am like all over. I'm pulled hair. Sometimes people will call me to jump on the call really quick. My team, other people, like just other, just people from other departments and stuff that need help with something. I'll jump on a call with them, right? And um, sometimes it'd be like 30 minutes, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's an hour, right? But when you're on a call, you're not necessarily, you don't necessarily have your fingers on the mouse. So when she started picking on me about idle time, I was just like, 20 hours? I was like, what time of day is this? What time of, what time of day is this? Because when I see 20 hours a month, I'm thinking an hour a day for lunch. This is what I'm thinking. So I said, are you sure this is not lunch? She says, no, it accounts for lunch, this report. It doesn't. And I knew that it didn't. I just wanted to see what she was gonna say. So I said, okay. So that was the first time she sent it to me. So I asked her for a printout of the last six months. Cause I want to see if it's the same thing. Now she doesn't, and I already knew, my old manager already had told me, 
it's 66 hours before they actually say something to you about your idle time. And the reason why I know that is because there was a guy on my team, he had, it was like 80 some hours. And I was like, are you sure? I said, I speak to him often, like this doesn't make sense. That particular manager never said anything to that employee. She knew that I spoke to him, but I was never gonna tell him because I'm like, you, that's, I'm, that's not my job. Okay, so back to the new manager. Mind you, she's a black woman, and I'm saying that for a reason because it seems like most women that I know that have an issue at work is either, it's never usually a man. <laughs> it's either if she's black, if the if, you're, if my friend is black, then the, the woman is the manager is black as well. So the first time she sent it, she crossed out names. I figured out, I was like, okay, this doesn't account for lunch. I'm gonna sign out for lunch, right? But before I actually did that, she sent me the second one. The second one that she sent, she forgot to cross out names. So I was like, perfect. That was only God showing me just how, I mean, at this point, I, I really feel sorry for her. Like, I mean, it got so bad, guys. So I really, really feel sorry for her. Um, Cause there's no way you got, you happy at home. Even if you have a husband, there's no way you're happy. Like, girl, get it together. So, fast forward, she didn't cross out two of the names. One of the, I'm gonna say two, but I'm gonna say one for sure. Cause this is when I said what I said. So, I, being me, I, um, I went to my director at the time, who was no help either. And I, I realized that at the end of the day, they're always gonna go with what a manager says. It doesn't matter because it was bullying. She was baiting. I mean, like, it was so bad, guys. Like, bad. So, I go to her <clears throat> about the time and I said, it doesn't account for lunch. And I said, but you came to me, but you didn't go to the other person who had 50-something hours. And you know what she said? Well, I, I, this is to the director too. I wanted to see if the other person's time would change. So you come to the person with the least hours who has the most responsibilities? Girl, shut up. Like literally, shut up. And she's grown, right? So I said, um, okay. So one day I, I, I made sure I was 100% sure about me signing out on my lunch break. I called the help desk and I told them like, hey, um, you know, what What do you guys think about this? And the guy says, oh, you have to sign out. I said, oh, I've been logging off of the system, but not necessarily on my lunch break though. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do it, which I knew it was gonna work. And okay, I log off. God, I'm looking for my, um, oh. So I thought logging off, but the day before I started this, I, um, I was on my lunch break. And so this is before I actually started signing out on my lunch break. So I go to lunch, we had a power outage in the neighborhood. So that means from 12 o'clock, literally up until the next day because the lights didn't come back on until the next day. So, well, that night. And I didn't log back on until the next day. So that means that it was sitting for those hours. So I was expecting her to send me the time, the idle time she did. So I sent her a breakdown. And I said, well, this is the day I started to sign out on my lunch break and I said, and this is the day that I had the power outage. I said, so if you calculate back those hours, including a training that I was taking, here are the hours that are showing up here. And she tells me she don't need a screen print. She don't need a, uh, <laughs> she don't need a breakdown. I said, yeah, you do. Okay. So I give it a breakdown. Now she said something to the other person. The reason why is because I called, pulled her card and said, well, you didn't say anything to them. And they asked me how I know. I said, I asked, cause I'm like, hold up. You weren't here, but did she say something to you? No, right? Okay, fine. So that was that time. I start signing out. I tell this particular coworker, like you need to sign out. Now I knew they was gonna do it for a little while and I knew that they were stopped. And they did, and I was so sure that they did. And she mentioned the time to him, or her. <laughs> um, she mentioned the time to them again and said, you know, ask me what I've been doing. But I was just like, I told you to, to sign out. But I said, this is good because now I know that it works. And I know that they report is pure bullshit. 
And they are taking this report and giving it to people. It's not accurate, right? So I'm gonna say this, being a truth teller at work does nothing for you, okay? We met with my director, the, the old director, and I asked, um, I asked, I'm supposed to throw that out. I asked, um, cause it, the meeting wasn't going anywhere. She was rude. That other director let her talk rude and it just didn't get anywhere. So at the end of the call, I said, I would like to speak to the person who you spoke to in HR because I've been asking to move to another team, right? Now, I, they have moved a ton of people there. They have, okay? And I said, okay, maybe because I'm a team lead, they probably can't do it, like, super easy. But I have seen them move people, like clockwork. There was a girl on my team, when I first got to this particular team, who did not want to work with the manager that came before her. It was a lady. She didn't want to work with this lady. Before this lady even touched down to the team, they moved that girl. And I could pull the race car all day because she was a white girl. Before the new manager hit that team, they moved that girl. Okay? So I said, I, I see, I see what y'all doing, but I didn't I didn't really care, right? Okay, fast forward. Um I don't even know if the guy ended up stopped signing, started signing out, whatever, but that meeting with that director, I told her that's my new brush, guys. I like him. I told her, I said, let me speak to the person in the HR that you spoke to. Now, let, 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 you guys listen up really clear. I asked that for a reason because my director wasn't doing a effing thing. And I felt like she brushed it under the rug because she got a new position in another department and she wanted to leave it and just be done with it which I thought was very cowardly of her, okay? Never had a problem with this lady, but I was like, oh, your true colors just came out, right? But you know, you can't trust the folks anyway. So, anyway, I asked to speak to this lady. Now, this is going into the the, the year, the 2020, I don't even know what year that was, uh, for like the new review, like your ending year review for your raise for next year. Mid-year is in July. My mid-year was fine, no issues. Child, when I tell you this lady, this was retaliation all the way. And I told this to HR, the new HR lady, and I told this to my director, they did nothing. This is retaliation. Let me tell you what this lady did. This I have never in my years of working there got anything under. So it's like 100% of the bonus and then a plus, depending on what they wanna give you. I think she gave me last year, and ever since I've been under her, it hasn't been the greatest, but it's never been under 100%. This rat lady gave me 40%, y'all. I didn't even know that was a thing. Straight up. Didn't even know. When I saw that, I told, first of all, one thing I'm not is embarrassed because it looks crazy on her. If you gave me this, you never mentored me from July to December. That was odd to me. But they literally let it go, guys. Like, I, when I tell you, don't ever go to HR, it is not worth your time. And I even told HR, I said, there's no point to come to you guys. Like, there's no point. She gave me 40%. They let that go. You messed with my money. And when I tell you, so much things went through my head at that very moment. I was like, this lady, when she has her day, boy, oh boy, oh boy, she is going to be sick to her stomach. She may think things is running smooth and, you know, all, like, she may think things are running smooth. But I tell you, I know for sure, karma is a bitch. And it may not come back to her. It may come back to her kid. If she got a husband, her husband, something. And then she's gonna be wondering what happened Cause look what you did to me right okay cool the bonus was low i left it alone right um i actually didn't even care i just was like it just showed me more see the thing about it is that the more she does that's very that's so it's almost like demonic the more i know i need to stand clear of her because she is wicked to her core and i'm going to use the word wicked but when they say the devil is here on earth he's not in red he doesn't have horns he is your co-worker he is a family member he is your neighbor she has something in her that is not right okay 
and I know this, so I just I stand clear. The way her emails come across, they're very threatening, um, condescending, like just a lot. And I'm just like, oh, girl, I feel sorry for you. Like, oof, it's just it must be really sad to be her. Um, so let me just dab this over a little bit. So they didn't do anything about it. I went to HR. I even did a survey, okay, and got people to write things that she put in my review. Oh, she told she told me that I didn't answer emails. Let me tell y'all something. I knew who she got it from. She never told me, but I knew who she got it from because one of the girls from another team had asked me. She said she mentioned that one day. I said, "Who doesn't answer emails? Like, who doesn't answer emails?" So you know what I did? I pulled over 200 emails and responses. Now we don't have a specific amount of time you should respond, but I pulled over 200 emails with me responding. If you email me at four, you're not getting a response. I ain't there. When I tell you, I pulled all of this and then this, it was just like a lot like stress. Just, I mean, this lady is a Luna damn tick. And the fact that they let all of this go down, I'm going to put on my, my, um, NARS creamy concealer. This, what is this? This is, this is deep. Oh, cafe. When I tell you, it was just pointless for me to even do all of that, asking to be moved to another team, you know, watching them move people and not move others. I'll say this, people who even let it go down and who didn't do anything about the treatment, cause she's still, a, she's still the same way to this day. I just don't, I just don't say nothing. I'm waiting for them to do what they need to do with me. They're not free of the wrath either. When you see something and you don't say anything, you are a part of the problem. It's like racist people, right? If you are, even matter of fact, not even just racist, racist people, uh, people in general who see things that's not right and they don't say anything. Yeah, you may not want to get involved, but you need to say something. So, <laughs> all I know is that that bonus was low. They let it slide. Uh, she's still the same way. And one thing I will say is, when she does have her her day. She's going to be wondering why is something happening to her. Whatever you put out, it's, it, always gonna, it, it always comes back to you. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so I just, I just kind of st stand, stand clear of her. But when I tell you, I always get things that I am supposed to have. So her cutting my bonus, I, I don't like... It didn't even phase me. Like I laughed at first. My, one of my other friends, she was like really, really sad about it. Cause she, she worked with me and she was like, this is so effed up. And I was like, nah, it's all good. I said, it's all good. And um, I said, it just shows me more and more and more how messed up this lady is and how, you know, things are working here. And, you know, I said, nobody's saying anything, but uh oh, <laughs> I said nobody say anything, but the people who see it and don't say anything, they'll have their day too. Cut off at thirty minutes, so they'll they'll have their day too, right? And I'm just gonna be here on the sideline, like minding my business, okay? So essentially, basically, it all ended up where. She gave me the low bonus. They ain't doing anything. We got a new director. I asked him, can I move? Like, stress to the gods, guys. And when I mean stress, not stress to where it's like you can't avoid, like you have no control over the stress pain in your neck. I was going to see a therapist because of this lady. Like, my therapist was like, she's gaslighting you. Like, she's baiting you. Like, I would read everything to her. She said, this is crazy. Nothing. And... I was saying to myself, God, like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just leave? But then I'm like, oh, no, you're going to give me my coins before I leave. You're going to give me severance, you know? But she lucky. I'm telling you. I'm changed. <laughs> and, and I always say this to people, like, be careful how you treat people. Because let me tell you, there are some effing unhinged people out there. Her messing with my bonus could have sent somebody else through the roof, okay? But luckily, I have other streams of income. You never really know what you're gonna get from the job anyway. I just know 
I've never got under a hundred percent ever in my life. And for her to go deep down to 40 and then what she wrote, maybe one day I'll share it with you guys. Cause I still have it. It was, it was written so bad. Like, I'm like, you guys read this and thought this was normal. And I've been on this team for this long working with these people. Nobody has ever said anything. And she comes over here and says all these things and y'all are okay with it. I don't have any, when I say I have zero respect for them, I just do the work and that's it. I am not chummy, choppy enough, no smiling, no laughing. I don't care if she could be laughing. I don't give, like, <laughs> I don't care. I do not trust her. She's very sneaky. Her friend that's on the team is very sneaky. Her friend is the senior on my team, so I'm her team lead. We had a training one day with the entire team, guys. Can you believe this lady said she didn't get training? So I asked everybody else, I said, y'all was on the phone with, with, what's her name, right? They was like, yeah. I said, well, she said she didn't get training. They was like, she was asking questions. I said, this is what she told them. <laughs> so that girl, I would not talk to her on my cell phone. She cannot call my cell phone straight. She cannot IM me. The only way I will communicate with her is via email and on a company line like zoom call period same thing with my manager they are the two sneakiest bees i've ever met in my life like they're friends i don't care what she says that is her friend they both do like real estate um they do like real estate together i believe and um but child the ghetto so now it's just like i got to the point where like the other day i was like on a I was on a thousand. Like, I was so pissed off. See, I can't even do my makeup and talk, guys, because I'm over here like... Um, I was so pissed off that I was just like, you know what? I... People like her... I'm sure she was a bully in school. I'm sure she was a bully in school. Like, almost 100% sure. And to be quite honest, she probably was the mean black girl who was mean to black girls who who had like uh, nice things. I can see that. I, I can just see it. Like, I, I, honestly, I'll be laughing at her sometimes on the phone now because I just be like, <laughs> you was a diss for me. <laughs> like, I, uh-uh. It's, it's, it's just really, it's, it's disgusting. And then later, like, late, I decided to, like, go on, I don't even know what website that was. I started reading the reviews about the company. I've been here for a long time. When I tell you, everybody's saying the same thing about management. Like, literally about management. I'm just like, everybody's not meant to be a manager. You, When you try to be bossy, that's not going to, that does nothing. That You try to pump fear into other adults. Come on. Come on. I thought, like I said... You got some really, really, really unhinged people out there. Play with the wrong person. And then I always, always think about like things that happen at jobs, like, like school shootings and stuff like that. Job shootings. People literally go on postal. And, and I always say, because there's always a story where someone was sitting there and they were face to face with the, uh, the shooter or whatever right and the shooter or whoever just walks past them and I always said it's probably because this person was probably nice to them you know what I mean and they they are specifically going in this place for one particular person or two or three and it's just what it is sometimes especially in jobs uh I, I just don't play anything that I do and I put out there is something that I would not be ashamed of. Um, you know, I don't want to be ashamed of anything. And my God, that lady. I think her daughter worked there now. That's another thing. It's a lot of family members that work there. <laughs> I've never, like, husbands and wife, like, I've just never in my life been at a company like this. And because I worked in New York, when I went to the job... I was a little shocked the company culture. A little different for me. I wanna use, I got this old Mac 
blush. I think it's amber. No, I don't even know what this is. It's like a reddish. But ah, your girl, your girl been going through it. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say now. Like she tried it recently, and I just I was like, whatever. Go talk to your mammy. You know. So, oh, I didn't even tell you the best part. Here's the best part. So they got um. They got, she told me my skill set wasn't up to par, right? She said this to the other director. But then I'm like, girl, you sent me a text message before she's blocked because she can't call my cell phone even. She sent me a text message about a job at another company to be a manager. So if my skill, wow, well, like, that was very telling. Girl, you so bothered? And I know why. I don't really know why. Like, I don't really know what her issue is, but... The Lord don't, the Lord, listen, I seen her before. I seen her. So maybe that's why she angry. I don't know. There ain't no way I got that much energy for somebody every day. No way. She's a bully. They're not doing anything about it. HR's doing nothing about it. And she will have her day. It's just what it is. I had left it to the Lord's hand. Um, but the other thing is, we got some new stuff coming in. We're supposed to get it. We're not 100% sure. So we may be growing as a team and um, overall. And uh, <laughs> Chad, they got a position open for a team lead on my team. For my team. So she mentions it. She's like, do you have any questions? And I was like, what, what, do you, <laughs> what do you want me to say? I'm the current team lead. Like we had a whole bunch of stuff before. It's just it's just very sneaky. And I'm just like, whatever y'all doing behind my back, it will always come to light. And I'm always going to have what I need. If you guys are going that hard, well, it's really her. And I, I mean, I, it's her. Um, it's just sad. Like... It's sad. That's why I always say, like, it doesn't matter what color you are. If you are a conniving B, that's just who you are. Like, that's who you are. Don't matter what, what color your skin is, okay? It don't matter. You got men like that, too. I worked with a guy in New York. <laughs> he was horrible. He was just not. He was horrible. He was not a nice person but I, I heard the company that he came from they was kind of hood uh but they said that the people was outside waiting for him child and i can see it because he's he was an asshole like straight up a hoe and i'm just like people uh, i'm telling you there are some people who don't give a rat's ass about nothing and they will take your ass down quick 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 you know it's just it's just it's, it's terrible 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 I, guys it was just it was just it was just terrible it seems kind of dark in here I don't know why um, it was just it's just it's just terrible but I realized that I was actually like when I went to HR the second time I gave her the surveys um, I think the HR lady was like, kind of like, what the hell is going on? Um, she, she tried to like, she tried to get stank to the HR lady. And I think, I think she was trying to get stank because she, she probably was like, damn. And I, of course me, I'm not going to just let that slide. I said, first, let's see, I'm going to stop you right there, lady. Her name was, I forgot her name. I said, I'm going to stop you right there. I said, I don't know why your tone changed when I started talking about this, but we can end this conversation. Okay, because I hear your tone change. You you sound upset. How you upset? That's why I said they're not to be trusted. Like they are not to be trusted at all. You know, um, they're like I said, they're going out of their way to just do a ton of stuff. And whatever happens, happens. Like whatever happens, happens. Just give me severance or whatever the hell you got going on. Maybe they don't want to give it to me, but but I would definitely like get get the story out. Um, but the bonus was the biggest thing that she did. And then last, this January, well, mid-year of this, mid-year of last year. Oh, was it last year? Oh, it must have been mid-year. Mid she was like, oh, a lot of things changed and da 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 
And I'm just looking at her. I was so irritated because she never provided proof of nothing. And then, oh, 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 the new director said she didn't have to provide me proof of nothing. So you're saying that people can say what they want to say. They don't need to provide proof at jobs. That's very alarming. Okay. So someone can say that someone sexually assaulted them, but they don't need to have proof. Someone can say that someone hit them, but they don't need to provide proof. Child, I was just like, okay. And I just kind of left it like that. But when they told me that there was a position open, I'm just like, okay. Like, I just got up like, what do you want me to do? You want me to just break out? Like, what do you want me to do? Um, hold on, guys. Let me put this mascara. Shit. Is it going to rain? <laughs> I can't get the line straight, guys. Okay. Um, but whatever happens, happens. I worked with a lady in New York. She was just terrible, too. Before I moved. And, um, they ended up firing her after. That's why I'm just like, mmm. Every dog has his day, that's all I'ma say. Whatever you put out, it will always, always come back to you. It will. It will always come back to you. I don't care how you should go. It may not come back today or tomorrow, but it will. Okay. Hold on. I got like Yeah, just it it will come back, but just drama, like, and I and I finally realized that. Let me end this, but like, I finally realized that me going to HR and doing all this copying and saving this and saving that, I was literally doing it by myself, not walking with God in front of me, and that's probably why I felt like it was a lot. But when I tell you, the moment I get on the phone with this lady. It's like an armor is over me and God is, is there. Like he is with me at that moment. I don't say anything. If it's not a question, I just don't respond. And, you know, I know he's going to get me out of this situation soon. And when he does, guys, I'm going to come back and tell you guys how happy I am just to be, you, just to be away from that. I just want to do my work. And, you know, keep it pushing. I'm not here to make friends with anybody. None of that. So, but he's going to get me out of it soon. He is. Maybe it's content creating. I don't know. Maybe I'll get, like, a part-time job and do content creating. I don't know. <laughs> Something, something's going to come out of this. You know, you know, me going through all of that. It ain't, that wasn't just for me to go through. I learned a lot. I learned that, you know... I mean, I already knew this about HR and stuff, but some really sugar honey iced tea people out there. And, and it's not just um, people you are close with, you know? Co-workers. And I am 100% sure that the devil moves through a lot of people. These demonic spirits, these unhinged people, um, just, yeah. So, that's the drama. And I'm going to try to, um, upload something when the Lord gets me another situation. Okay. <laughs> but guys, we just can't like I have like a little mole here that be hiding under my thing. We can't let the folks get to us. I'm sure you guys have a story. Um and let me tell you, I was even still I thought I was trying to be nice. It's just that I am really big on not getting sick and colds and stuff like that. And I realized that she was getting sick a lot. And 
I was like, what's going on, right? And I was like, you got time to be, <laughs> like, you're sick in the head. So I told her, you know, a remedy that she can do, just cause that's just who I am. But I won't say a goddamn word. <laughs> I won't say another freaking, another, another word. Where is, oh, here we go. I will, I will not say a word to her about nothing. And y'all know I love my myth. This is myth? Spirit. Myth is a lighter one. It sounds like it's random, but it's not. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna end this vlog, but that was just a story time about <sighs> the dramas of the job and working with working with a black manager. The word boss is just not something I like to use. Manager, uh, because I feel like she's acting like a boss. Like it's not nice. Like what y'all think? Like. Have you worked with a manager who was a woman who was, if you're black and she was black, or even if you're not black and the person was the same color, same background as you? Excuse me. How was it? Cause baby, I mean like, I'm so uninspired now, <laughs> like there. My work is still my work, but just, she's very, very sneaky, sneaky. I think she's a liar. Well, I know she's a liar. Her friend is a liar. But that was it. That was, that was. If you have dealt with somebody like that, comment below. What did you do? Did you just leave? Because I, I know that this, I know that's what they're trying to. They're trying to push me out. And I like, I'll, I'll be 100% honest with you. I am so glad I didn't come to this world to be that type of person. Because. You gotta, you gotta go out of your way to do things to get somebody to leave. Like every day you have to wake up and say, what am I gonna do to this person today so they can be upset, so they can finally leave? I don't want that. That's too much energy. That ain't the energy that I want. It's just, it's just giving me very like unhappy. Um, unhappy with life. It's giving me jealousy. You can't be me. It's giving a lot and women and men who are like that I totally feel sorry for them okay oh this thing keeps falling like oh my god I guess because I'm not tying it tight enough I totally feel sorry for them because every day you wake up and then let me tell you like even I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know what maybe I'll do a part two when the Lord gets me out of the situation but I'm gonna read some of the emails. Child, when I tell you how they come across, they're so threatening. Like, and I'm just like, girl, ooh. The more she does it, the more I'm like, yo, I know you get a wrinkle on your face every single day. Every single day you do something to me, that is another wrinkle added to your face. I'm sure. Like I said, I've seen it before. Okay. Um, <laughs> but trying to be um, soft at work, even working from home with somebody like her, it's very hard. But like I said before, it was it was a constant. I was going back and forth for her, and I'm like, why am I even doing? Like she's so not worth it that I was mad at myself for even going to HR and doing all this and doing all of that. And I knew better. I knew that it doesn't do anything for you. So it was a waste of time. All I'm gonna say to you guys is if you are in a situation and you have a job right now and you're unhappy, um, I would say just keep looking. Just keep looking. There's so, there's so many jobs out there. There being, even if you have to consult or get something that is something that you really want to do, then do that because honey, there, 
like I said, I have seen people leave jobs because they were forced out, bullied out, and not even six months later, the person who bullied them, either something happened to somebody in their family, they lost their job, something happened to them, and it's just like, they don't realize that it, this Newton's third law, whatever you put out there, it will always come back to you. My battery is blinking, so that means I need to charge it so I can get dressed for you guys. So... That was a story time about what's going on at work. If you guys want like a play-by-play -play on everything that I did, y'all need to let me know because I can break it down like Risa Tisa, y'all. So when I see people being entrepreneurs and just saying F the work field, I'd be so happy for them, especially when they have made it because it the setup is, is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, but that's my little story. And it's still going on. I'm just like, just ignoring it. Like, blank stare. Blink, blink, blink situation. Okay. And we don't do FaceTime Zoom. I wish we did. Because I'm sure my face will say it all. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I probably won't be able to smile and laugh with her. Um, but the ghetto. Let me, let me charge my battery. And then I'm going to actually get dressed. So I just have on a pair of jeans. And let me tell y'all, your girl's stomach was chubby. First, and I freaking put my shirt inside so it ended up getting a little wrinkle. But just some jeans. And I, I don't know if I wanna wear some flat boots. Not flat, because I don't have like super flat. I have, I have a small heel. I'm actually going to go out with a friend of mine. I wasn't going to, um, I was going to record more, but I got some flat boots, which I think I may just do these because the heel is like super low. And then I got my infamous chunky boots, but these are heavy. The weather is kind of like in between. So I may go ahead and just do these. Let me do these. Y'all still put y'all stuff in y'all shoes? Cause I do, honey child. Is that her? I'm deciding on these two. Let's see, she looking. Um, I could have worn, uh, all right. So I have not worn my, cause I really, the weather is just kind of, I don't know. I already got this headband on. The weather hasn't been like the best. So I think I'm just going, I think I'm just gonna do these. Cause they scrunch down. And I need a, and I think I'm gonna wear my white bag. Ooh, ooh. y'all, my little trapper is so janky. It is. I'm not gonna put these on up here. I'll do it downstairs. That's the, okay. I still put these in my shoes. <laughs> I do. With the little dust bag and everything. I'm only wear these because they they like they super like you know flexible. And then let me see. I'm also going to did I show you my new lip combo? I don't think so. I don't, I don't have it on today, but I think I'm gonna wear this and I think I'm gonna take my white bag. Let me see. And even, <clears throat> it's like 60 outside. Even if I wore, oh, what jacket, hold on. Cause this other jacket is too big, not too big, too, too, too big for the style that I'm going for. Maybe I'll do my crop. Maybe I'll do my crop. I had this one recently. Outfit. <laughs> it's like a headband, a jacket. This is a lot. It's cute, but it's, I don't feel like with these boots now. 
Y'all. <laughs> Can y'all see? Let me pull it back so. Oh, pull, uh, hold on. I don't know. I got so much stuff in here. I got my, my little box light over here. Let's move that over there. And then I could do this. But I, my zip will keep moving. I could do this jacket. This is a lot going on. <laughs> I like my jacket though. Um, let me see. Don't judge me, y'all. I could do the red jacket. I like this one because it got like shoulder pads in it. But then I have my, I got my white. No, I don't want to do that one. Um, let me see. I got my red one. This would be cute too. Let me see. This one is kind of too, like too fitted on the arms. Oh, this one is not bad. My zipper is like doing something janky. Um, I don't think I really want to wear this one. No. <laughs> Girls, what am I gonna do? I think I may do these and keep it kind of like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna bring them both downstairs and see which ones are a little bit more, I don't know, I feel like these cause they're more rug, but anyway, I will take a photo <laughs> and pop it in for you guys. But thank you guys for tuning in to this vlog, this little chat with me about work and just chatting about everything. And I'll make a decision and then my bag, I think I am going to carry. I think I'm going to take the white bag. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the white bag. Yep, so let me just move my stuff around. Girls, let me tell you, leaving the house and then making a mess. Sometimes I'll leave like the dust bag in there just to protect like the bottom. Actually, my wallet and stuff is in my gym bag. All right. It's time to go. Let me take my mirror. I got my perfume on and I think I am gonna wear these. I hit my toe. I hope I don't have no issues. But let's do this. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in to my vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a while. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you stay to the end of this vlog, you guys already know. Comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NY c.com and my style services coco styles ny and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys let me get it together over here i'm struggling all right guys bye